Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the very screaming introduction of the next episode of Vampire. Episode, I mean, part 22. The final destination of the game. This is the place where we meet the one true enemy. I think. I'm a... <laughs> I'm actually thinking that hi hey I'm so excited I don't know why oh dude you look weird I can fuck you up right here sorry been quite a battle here <laughs> it's been quite a battle here sir what happened I'm sure the Ascalon club has the money to replace the furniture yes and we're gonna check this fact if they actually have the money yep five shillings sir give me the shillings please and I need to do a sound effect of the <laughs> the munching of a rat. It's so sexy, man. Ooh, these guys actually dare to attack here. Damn, these guys are oddly. This guy's moving. I can. I swear to God, I feel his ass. There he is. You trying to follow me, sir? What are you trying to do? He's like so creepy and shit. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are heading to our destination. So I saw Ooh, good dagger. What is the meaning of good dagger? So basically, I picked this shit up. Wait, can I? Don't worry about it. I'm not gonna skip dialogue here because this is uh, more of an important dialogue and all that stuff. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's locked. It's a locked. I can hear screaming on the other end of the room. <laughs> yes, because it's only logical. Oh, can I get the sword, sir? Damn it. I can't get the sword, sir. Oh. You're not allowed here, yeah, my, my good friend. Shillings! Five for shillings! So give me the ice shilling. <gasps> a key. I found a key. Well, I pressed tab, but no details were given. More five shillings. I mean, five more shillings, sir. Please give me the ice shillings. Six more shillings. Aye! That's awesome. Four more shillings. These guys are rich. Filthy rich. So many shillings. No shillings here, sir. Ooh, a chest. Four more shillings, and extra more shillings, five more shillings, and no more shillings. <laughs> Alright, I think we've robbed these guys enough. Oh, three more shillings, that's great. Dr. Reed, the man, the myth, the legend. Good evening. Good evening. I'm gonna stab you with this fine dagger I found. Is that the Joker? Was that the Joker? Did we finally find out what happened to him? Man, yeah, shut up, Strife. People are watching this. It's interesting. Alright. My good friends, if I may have your attention. You may not. Behold our visitor, the good Dr. Reed. Newborn of blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bansha was no match for him. Here, here, here. here. Come forward, young Ekon, for we have so much to discuss. I most certainly do. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. I am Lord Redgrave, Earl of Bristol and Chairman of this exclusive association. Lord Redgrave. At last we meet. I've been eager to make your acquaintance. I've heard some astounding things about you. This guy's... Please accept my condolences for your loss, Dr. Reed. Thank you, my lord. Lady Ashbury expressed your wish to meet me. Yes. The lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? Just want to say, just want to point out a fact. A man of his status, of his leisure, of his magnificence, I've never... I've never imagined him with, with such voice. Never. It's like, Oh, I am the great lore of the Ascalor Clubs. Welcome, Dr. Reed. And our guy is just standing there like, Good evening, 
<laughs> no, no. I admire her. She's a close friend. She has proven useful. She's a close friend. And I'm honored that she feels the same about me. Hmm. The centuries have taught me never to trust a woman completely, especially if she is immortal. Too prone to emotions, if you ask me. So Too sexist. fickle when it comes to important decisions. My lord, do not expect me to speak ill of Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do you mean? I speak of the Skull Plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line in the East End, but the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain, but we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why now? Why me? Why suddenly so f friendly? Yeah, exactly. My point is, why now? Why have you asked me here? Because the crisis is escalating. Our enemies, the guard of Prewen, have even launched an open hunt. The only way to calm things down is to put an end to the epidemic. You want me to find possible sources of the outbreak in the West End? Is that it? Ah, straight to the point, like all eager newborns. Mm -hmm. We shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed. Someday. But first... I should like to get to know you better. Talk? Is that the only reason you asked me here? Well, no. I also wanted to meet the intriguing Ekon who made such a powerful progeny of his sister. You have not learned the name of your maker, am I correct? It's of no concern of yours. Have no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. What do you mean? I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club <laughs> and to serve me as such. Uh, I have questions first. Before I accept, I have so many questions. Please ask. What does the membership What does it mean? to be a member of the Ascalon Club. It means that you swear to protect the interests of the Crown, that you become a loyal servant of the British Empire. Do you have any official recognition from the government? A charter from His Majesty the King? No. Of course, the Ascalon Club publicly supports the Empire, but the true nature of its members remains a secret. Am I supposed to follow orders? As founder and chairman of the club, I alone am entitled to make demands of our members. And I do appreciate obedience. What is the Ascalon Club's express purpose? We follow the credo of William Marshall, the greatest knight who ever lived. As was he, we are sworn to protect the British Empire. What does Ascalon mean? Ascalon was the lance wielded by St. George, glorious patron saint of England when he slew the dragon. And like that lance, we pierce the hearts of all our nation's enemies. I see. <clears throat> so there are dragons in this world. world. William Marshall founded the Ascalon Club. Not exactly. William Marshall granted me immortality, and I founded the club a few years later. The good knight has been gone for so long. Do you think maybe Willem is the one who created us? I killed Fergal, who claimed to be one of yours, sent to cleanse the East End of all Skulls. Will his death be an issue? Do not worry. My priorities have changed. Fergal was a zealous servant of mine, but like any servant, he had his limitations and is readily replaced if necessary. I agree to join the club. This is good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. I have no times. other option. <laughs> Let's inform the assembly formally and proceed with your initiation. My Please. initiation? I... Fear not. Nothing fancy nor dangerous. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. Tradition? Okay. My fellow members, dear friends, Please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? 
This is blood pure. Well, speak, Dr. Reed. In front of the most sacred blood. The blood of our beloved William Marshall. Speak now. Will you serve and protect the crown as he did? I mean, I prefer to protect the people. Yes, people. I will. Then, young Ekon, it is time to testify with your blood. You're gonna cut my ass It is up? time to sign the Book of Allegiance. With my own blood? Nice. I know it's awfully gothic and a tad pedantic, but England's traditions are the backbone of our nation. Cut yourself, man. Suck on thy blood and spit it on the book, then sign the goddamn thing. Or kill this mother. <clears throat> yeah. Why always the wrist? Why always the why not the why not the paw on itself? Why the wrist? The wrist is such more painful place, god damn it. You son mm, delightful. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Thank Reed. you, sir. Take your place among the bearers of the lance. One of us! One of us! Ugh. So am I supposed to talk to these assholes? I guess. That's a, that's a human. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's quite unsettling. As a doctor... I Do not be alarmed. May I ask who you are? Why would you be interested? Well, as you seem to be the only man in the room with a beating heart. Ah. You're famous. Mr. Dawson. Of Dawson and Dawson. The wealthiest. A withering London figurehead to be. Are you sick? My case is beyond the scope of truth. I'm Dawson. sorry to hear. Absolutely. Okay, what well, uh, I sh Blah, blah, yeah. Would you? No. Is that gonna help? Situation the worst. I am sure. Your what? Quarant. Your. It's unfair. It's dangerous. It's complete. I am. Are you not, Miss? Why do you? I don't know. Okay, so I think we failed to unlock something here. Do I? Do I speak with you assholes? I don't think so. Do I need to speak. That when you have them, I was so what? I'm listening. According to my spies, you have oh, worked sorry. with Doctor Edgar Swansea. Uh, do you know? Not personally. Does it bother you that I consider him like? As long as you reveal nothing of the club's it. You was not. Who was Ferg? Ferg? No. No. Yeah. Will you be? Of course. Well, Fergo is the big guy. Right? Yes, I'm convinced. The recent inv. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Doctor. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war. Oh, scars are victims. Scars are hostile vectors of contagion. That is a fact. But for I agree, Dr. Reed. So, what do you... I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear... And how would you like me... By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. You are now... Whoa, 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 whoa. Mesmer level. Oh, nice. That's cool. Uh, family port... New mission, okay. Ask locals about possible sources of infection in the west. Alright, so... Wait, am I... Am I in the west right now? Yay. Okay, locals here and there. We got more places here and there. So wait, is that the... No, that's not it. Oh, this is it. This is the place, yeah. And I forgot to make medicine for this, jackass. Nah, that's fine. These are all sick. I actually gotta start healing these assholes. Everybody's dead. I haven't found this one, but I know where he is. God damn it. I'm so pissed on this decision of mine. Alright, so... That's a vicious thing. Yo, asshole. Can you talk to me? Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Vroom. Vosera. 
It's all me there. <laughs> yeah, guys, the game is absolutely fun, but to be honest, I'm getting a little bit tired of this game because it has become way too long. And uh, yeah, like I said, Monster Hunter World is coming up, so god damn. I'm excited more for that. Right, so I think Lord Redgrave just suggested I was sired by Women an ancient vampire. Yeah, that's one of the things. Good evening, Miss Ash. And okay. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? A few days ago, I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's suffrage. Awful smell. No answer when I knocked. Where is it? It's the Mullaney's. A nice fan. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my. She's been quite. <laughs> okay, so there you go. We found a place to look for. Uh, that's a good, good sign, I guess. But I, I actually want to go to the hideout and try and help this asshole. Asshole of a man. Ooh, that's nothing. Never mind. Let's... I don't. God damn it. Where do I find this shit? Uh, he's gonna die probably. Poor guy, isn't he? Yeah, he did. Sorry. There was an unknown man up there. Good evening, Avery. Mr. Jonathan. I can't believe my own eyes. Oh. I know, Avery. I know about Mary. I'm so sorry. It's all right. Avery. The police said. How. How. Miss. Miss. Yeah, this is a servant of the family. For <laughs> your. There were. I I'm your I, <laughs> I know, I know. You guys are probably annoyed with Tell me that this You then I will Do you really think I neglected my mother? Yes. I see. Just like your father. <laughs> yes, I see. <laughs> it's like the answer is so I'm currently not really. Except all the McPherson's servants resigned a few days ago. The McPherson's? I think it's a rich house. <laughs> right, so how are you feeling? Lord Do you need medical? I what? <laughs> Thank you, Avery. Let's Your bed who could have done such an evil thing. It's a... Oh, Miss Reed. Well, he served pretty good. Ooh, a letter. Right, you guys, you know what to do. Just pause it if you need anything. Beast nearby. Big ass beast. Damn shillings! You give us a weird sound effect. Yeah, sorry, once I sneeze, my nose just go, you know, subatomic on me. It starts to fall apart. I kinda wanna kill him, but I'll just wait for a little bit. Uh also. What other thing I need? I need to oh yeah, I need to ask this guy. I mean, also I needed Mesmer for. Good evening, old chap. Uh, what? I'm in yes. Not enough noise for a big family. We okay, so another. Tell me what you have discovered. They've always. No. What do you mean you're not alone? The guard of. Pr have you? Sp no. Are you? Yes, Johnny. Oh, that's not good. Well, this guy has. You some need some. 
contact with the guard of Prewin or whatever. Uh, I don't have any medicine for this guy. So, might as well talk to his wife, right? She was this way, I think. I believe she was right here, sir. Is she speaking? Hello again, Venus. Jonathan, you're still up. Can't you just knock at people? I'm sh Of course you... I'm so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. Why are you sorry? Did you have it's a pleasure to see you. So you were... How is the old... Probably outside. How... I've done my duty. Like all British women. You have no idea... I understand. Luckily, this part of town has been saved from the worst of the bombing. Yes, and it's also true about the epidemic. The f Have you noticed anything pe You mean except for your return to town? No. Thank you. Thank you, Venus. It was so sudden. And I've been so busy, I haven't spoken- I wish I could have assisted at the funeral, but you know- There's no- No, it's not. Why is my return so surprising? Yeah, it's good for him to be. Venus, why do you worry so much about your family? Everyone laughs at Clarence now. And they avoid me because they believe I share his insane opinions. I'm a leper in my own community. I see. So that's so important to you. Tell me about Clarence's obsession with Vamma. It drives me. I understand. The question is... So you don't believe? If poor Mary, bless her soul, had tried to convince you of the existence of bloody vampire. The important question is, what do you really think? I'm tough, Jonathan. Well, whatever the case. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic. The McPhersons. They could just be afraid of getting sick. Perhaps you're right. But if I were you... All right, so Goodbye for now. She requires four, I think. Yeah. Mary came here. They were such I'm just gonna steal your stuff from you. Don't worry about it. It's uh, almost like I'm up here, huh? Alright. Do you have anything secretive laying around here? Oh shoot, what the hell? Yeah, just a locker. Oh, I did, yeah. It was, uh. <coughs> horrid! <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Choked for some reason. There's so much more to investigate. You, know you are always welcome here, but at this hour of night. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I gotta steal shit. <laughs> I'm just gonna look around. This, this for trails of the epidemic. You may actually have it here and there. Ooh, it's a lovely gown right there. Points of suppression of documents. A bunch of people. It's locked. Ooh, it's locked, so if I kill her, a detail. Alright, July 19. A bunch of stuff. So, we found a little bit extra about this poor man who is literally on the case of something. Oh, is that all? Huh, that's curious. And we have a few events happening. Dr. Swanza, new dialogue available. We have this event over there. And that'd be that. Okay, gotta remove this marker. Yeah, at this time of our of, of night. Ooh, look at that. I thought vampires didn't have reflections. That's one of the things I wanted to comment on earlier, but I kinda forgot. Uh anyways, looks like Johnny is uh you know, more than a vampire, he's I an echo. Mary came here, oh, maybe had a husband and a son. Oh god, yeah, I forgot about that part. Alright, let's go investigate the... Yeah, I guess this family. Poor bastards. How about... Shut up! How about no? Actually, I want to go down to the docks. Those are dogs down there. Shut the hell up, woman. So down. I gotta go to the right, I think. Because it looks like a, a little bit of a dead end over there. Okay, so we go through here. Yep. 
And there's where we gonna Why are vampire hunters sniffing around here? I need to find out what they're after. It's one of them vermins. Vermintines. It's locked, all right. It's locked, all right. There's a human over there. I think that's my objective, though. Huh. How curious. Even my mouse doesn't want to pin up. It's so buggy there. Nope. Oh. No! <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah, me too, man. <laughs> But I love the sound effect you do. The more you do it, the more I enjoy it. <laughs> this is despicable. Like <laughs> the munchiness. Uh, it's so enjoyable. Oh shoot, that's so fucking creepy, dude. That's so creepy. That's so creepy. Why do I have a purple, you know, epic mirror in my <laughs> in my inventory? Ooh, thick rich blood sample? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. That scared me. This woman's body has multiple lacerations. They're deep, too. Whoever did this was driven by rage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody was pissed. Couldn't get his bony bone bone. His bone is a... Monsieur Bony Bone. I can feel the darkness in this house. Why the green light? Did they even have such light back then? <coughs> Actually, I, I don't quite remember what age, year that was. You feel like laying down, buddy? Okay, something else is going for. Oh, what's that? A bunch of stuff. Are you not going to investigate that, Johnny? I see blood all over the place, man. There's a man here. And a bottle. He had his tongue removed and his eyes gouged out. Ah! He was a victim of brutal torture. Aye. A very brutal one. Indeed. Indeed, laddie. You needn't worry, though. I got your back. All right. Oh. This one's neck is broken. He was young. He was probably young. the son. Uh, not good. What? Why do we have blood on the on the ceiling? Or that's on the other side of the thing. Oh, uh, boss fight. It's a boss fight. This, this one's alive. Dang! I'm just kidding. Yeah. So funny. You thought I was dead too, didn't you? No. I didn't. No! I was just pretending! Ha, ha, ha. Doris told me I could have been a great actress! You killed your family. They mocked my talent! What? Talent for what? Bursting your crazy ass pimples or whatever those things are. 
Oh, fudge! Woman, you crazy. How about no? How about no, girl? I've never seen such a radical mutation. Ah! Could it be a new stage in the disease's evolution? Probably. Hey, look at her, man. She's done fucked up. All over the place. So much toxins. And shit. Holy shit. Yeah, Johnny. Saikuka. Nandari kasarapata. Oh, I forgot I'm regenerating slowly, right? Does it even move? And shillings? Give me that shillings, sir. Uh. So, this girl took the Sorry. lessons at the famous Doris Fletcher acting school. Mm -hmm. She did. And she died with those lessons and all that money unspent for a good purpose. I mean, spent for an ungood purpose or bad purpose, whatever. Shashiling. Shashiling. Alright, so we, investiga we, we, we have investigated this place. Now, the next thing we gotta investigate is the other place, but that's gonna happen tomorrow. So, yeah. You guys uh, make sure to enjoy. Hope you enjoyed.